The Feast of San Gennaro has been happening in Little Italy since 1926. This being the 96th year of its celebration, I'm here in Little Italy to see what it's all about. From food, parades, music, and somehow a Ferris wheel in the middle of the street is packed with people celebrating here from September 15th to the 25th. I decided to come make a video on It's Last Weekend because the only thing running through my veins as strong as my Greek heritage is my procrastination. Celebrating the Saint Gennaro, this beloved Italian-American festival has become a wonderful tradition. I am going to do my best here to give a brief rundown on what it is we are celebrating exactly. But first, if you don't like and subscribe, I'm not only going to assume you hate Greeks, but also Italians, puppies, kittens, and a good midday nap after a long morning. Roll the clip. The Saint Gennaro was a bishop in Italy during the times where Christians were being persecuted. He was immediately arrested and sentenced to death, but he was a tank. He survived being poisoned, unaffected. He was thrown in fire, came out unscathed, thrown into the pits with lions, and they left him alone. They didn't want a piece of him. They ended up having to cut off the stubborn bastard's head to finally give the killing blow. Some local women were able to soak up the blood and put it into vials and take it back to the local church. And every year on September 19th, the feast day, the powdered blood turns back into liquid with no explanation. That's pretty much the gist of it. If you want further information, please don't listen to me and do some more research on your own. You will have far better luck. Anyway, we can go back to me prepping to stuff my face for the remainder of this video. Nice. Though the official day of the San Gennaro is on September 19th, it is celebrated over 11 days in, Italy, in Little Italy where all walks of the life come out to enjoy. I don't know the last time I've seen a single street this packed. It's really something special seeing so many people out celebrating. I feel like this is the first proper San Gennaro since COVID-19, which in 2020 was the only year to actually have it get canceled. A little wild. We came here for a solid lunch to enjoy the Italian delicacies of restaurants new and old inside of New York. The smell of this place alone is making me hungrier than I can explain. Uh, let's get to it. Italian sausage, spicy boy. A solid hoagie roll, the traditional. The sausage itself, good, could be spicier. The pepper is super sweet, onions great. An all around classic Italian sausage and peppers. Could it be better? Probably. But I'll, but it'll do. Give me a fucking bite, that's what you want. You want another one? <laughs> no, for me. <laughs> How many out of five marrons? About six and a half marrons. Six and a half. Cookie Bobber. It's yellow, red, and white with chocolate on top. No, yellow, red, and green with chocolate on top. It sounds decadent. Yeah, it's pretty good. Fried, ra <laughs> Fried rainbow cookies. Look at the extract put under my chin there. Beautiful. There's the money shot. It's so hot. It actually tastes fantastic. Looking sick inside, soft. Thank you, thank you. Good job, Evan. Slight, your face. slight crunch, pretty gooey in the middle, nice and soft. Excellent treat. <laughs> Ooey gooey, ao. Fantastic. Probably better not fried though. As as with the Oreo, probably better not fried, but interesting to try nonetheless. Point it at real quick. Point it at point it at heaven really quick. I give you about three. About three out of five Maroons. Three out of five Maroons. Three. We got some brick oven pizza. I don't know the name of the place because it literally just says brick oven pizza. I got the marguerite. An atrocious flop. That was a good crunch. The undercarriage, gorgeous. 
What do you think about it, Evan? Lovely. Lovely. Not at me. At this. Look at that. It's a beautiful spot. Oh, that's at least an eight. That's an eight mud on. You want to see it, Lava? Enjoy it. Very good. Look at a little dink. She is. All right. I dropped you a pretty solid cannoli, and I'm not a cannoli fan. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Good cream. Good cream? Jim Gandolfini would be proud. Jim Gandolfini would be proud. Excellent cream. A good crunch on the shell. I'm not a fan of cannolis, really. This is a top tier one. I got hair in my mouth. Lovely. How many Manons are we giving it, Evan? Five. five. Five out of five marrons. A perfectly average score. We love to see it. Some money beat. I had an all-around fantastic time at the San Gennaro Festival. If you're looking for a reason to visit New York, I recommend planning a trip while the Feast of San Gennaro is going on. You will not regret it. It gives you a true taste of what Little Italy has to offer, figuratively and literally. I really need to thank my buddies Evan, Justin, and Bob for helping me out with this video and lending a very much needed hand. I'm really hoping this video helps showcase what the San Gennaro has to offer, and if you're around next year in September, I truly recommend checking it out. Cheers, my friends. I feel like it should be centered a little bit more for him, though, because of the way I'm looking at it, it's like... the art, he wants his street. He doesn't care about his position. Do you never take film school? No, I think it shows. It shows.